Good morning. It is the 18th of May, 2023. Uh, we're down here in the power dam again, uh, checking the chickens and getting everybody out. These are some of the older hens and the, uh, the young rooster. There's the older rooster. Uh, they have been uh, been laying about two eggs a day, and that's about all they've been doing. So, uh, but there, those hens are about four years old, and this dummy right here thinks he's going to be important. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear you. He's trying to he's trying to be tough. Like yeah, like he's something. Anyway, so we're down here. We're checking the river this morning. Everything's everything's down uh, to set point. Uh, we're running right where we're supposed to be for the uh, uh, for the for the water levels. Uh, everything looks good. We uh, shut up. The young the young chicks and the ducks. <laughs> Uh, yes, the ducks uh, are all in here. They're still, they're, they're hanging out. Looks like the chickens have kind of muscled the way into the, uh, <laughs> into the heat lamp. Uh, but everybody's doing well. Uh, we're, we're just giving everything a quick, quick once over. Beautiful day. Uh, supposed to be in the upper 60s today, 67, I think. Uh, 70 degrees tomorrow. Um, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're having a really good May, so, so far so good. Kind of dry, the, uh, relative humidity has been really low, so we've had a lot of issues with, uh, uh, burning, uh, there's a, uh, a fire watch uh, put out by the National Weather Service because everything's so dry and tender. Even though, you know, it's spring, things are greening up. But the problem is the, the leaf litter that's on the ground, like down here, that's really tender. That's really dry. And with the low humidity, that can really just take off. Uh, couple it with a couple, uh, you know, a couple mile an hour wind and uh we've really in trouble so <laughs> uh <clears throat> the tractor is back up and running uh sitting over there uh new new lines new fittings uh new valve stems the you know the works uh we really never figured out exactly what happened, why the tires, there's a brand new tires in the back. Uh, they were, they, uh, a couple grand for those. And we really never, never did figure out why they went bad, but they, you know, they did. We ha I had them loaded, and I think that was where my problem was. Uh, and so what they did was just pulled out whatever was left inside and whether that was uh, calcium chloride or <laughs> dead calcium chloride or if it was uh, antifreeze or windshield washer fluid, uh, whatever it was. Uh, the tractor came from Pennsylvania, so we didn't, they didn't have experience the or southern Pennsylvania, so it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, have the same temperatures that we had and so as the temperatures came down it froze up and it was inside the inner tubes and we ripped the inner tubes right off so we we don't have any inner tubes in them now we're not going to put more inner tubes in we're done with the inner tube thing uh until we start having trip problems with the tire going flat or whatever. Get down here in the river to do a quick look at stuff. Yeah, 
So you really start to see the rocks coming through. See how things have changed through the, through the spring? I don't see much change. I have not seen that beaver since uh, that was up there a while ago. Which, uh, which is all right. Sun is shining up there. We're looking downstream there at the power station. Get out here to the, to the edge of the falls. That is, of course, up there at the top is the swimming hole. You can see the drop. Work our way back over to the edge where we should be. Today I got a uh, couple camp openings. Uh, Couple of really easy, quick, what easier, quick ones. Uh, nothing is. <laughs> never say easy because that's when it's going to get hard. Things are going to turn turn south in a hurry. So uh, my pile down here, I I come down and the other day with the tractor after I put it together and and put the bucket down on it. And uh, a lot of the stuff is so just tender and it's just breaking right up. So we'll just keep working at it a little bit at a time and it should uh, turn into just a pile of nothing. Looks a little better when it's compacted down instead of a whole bunch of brush sticking up. <clears throat> We're looking at uh, having our final scoping meeting, uh, which is just a fancy word for a site visit for anybody interested in licensing and basically snooping around. Uh, that's coming up in uh, June 7th. Uh, so we're getting prepared for that. Uh, Got to do a little bit more <coughs> clean up and, and whatnot um, for that. That tree there, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Might just let it continue. Uh, I don't believe it's... I don't believe it's alive anymore. But I'll just leave it there until after the meeting, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do, take it down or whatnot. Because it looks like it's trying to sprout some leaves on it. And if it's trying, we'll let it go. <coughs> the uh, I've got some gravel coming for for the parking area up here. We're going to uh, I'm going to add some there, use some uh, and go upstream up the up the driveway, patch it some spots through there. Hopefully. That arrives before the Saturday, but we'll see. <coughs> Again, <coughs> it's one of those, it is what it is and will be what it is. So you can see our water level is low enough that 
the one board that's missing right there, we could probably get it together and slide it in the spot if we can get it measured out without getting too wet. I don't like to do that as long as the water's water level is just a little high. Yet I can lower it down a little bit. There is the uh, that's that's the uh, dock that we've got to figure out how to get out of there. That will be an interesting task right there, to say the least. Of course, we're looking at the swimming hole. You can see it actually is a little bit high yet because there's a, a ledge right underneath that side over there that they can stand on. So we're a little, just a hair high. But again, we're, let, we're letting more water go than we you know, than we used to. And we still have water going over the top over here. So we're gonna have to adjust down a little bit. I may have to adjust the transducer that's up in the tube up here to match what the level of the computer says it is. So the computer says we're at 16 or 16995 and that's closer to 16 16998 so we're we're hair higher uh, what I'll end up doing is uh, bringing down a little bit on, on my set point level And figure out from there. A little bit slick on that on the edge today. Uh, there's a little bit of ice right there. You can see you can see a little bit of ice just on that edge. Temperatures were right at 33, 32 to 33 degrees this morning, uh, which is kind of chilly for us. But the, the way the the jet stream has been pushing it down from Canada and uh, you know, we've been getting the hazy clouds from uh, the wildfires out in Alberta. Uh, not like they have in Michigan, though, but uh, it's, it's been here. Interesting, though, it's you know, it, we can get the smoke from there. <laughs> the, uh, just don't know about this... Uh, pollinator garden because it doesn't there's some some little bit of flowers growing some weeds we'll see we'll just let it keep going a little early for uh anything to start uh to grow uh, as far as uh milkweed or whatnot but we'll see we'll watch it we'll keep an eye on it we're just gonna let her grow until she uh stops I'm not going to mow this at all this year. I'm just going to let it grow up. May have to get in and cut some of these little trees out of there. But uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just let them grow. See what, see what develops. This is a section through here that we're going to put the, uh, the, the new gravel on. I drug some of the gravel back from where it was and use it to, to do some fill work, but this this really needs some touching up. If I don't see it in the, uh, by Saturday, I'll have to get up here and spread some of this out just to smooth it down a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put some, some of the uh, boards, that's where the pile's supposed to be, on that stake. Uh, but, I'm going to get some of the wood, uh, some of the uh, trees that had fallen, and I'm going to, or that we cut up, 
and put them in here for stops. Might as well take my broken shovel. <clears throat> Get it out of here. Throw it into my junk wagon. But we've got we got some pines. We've got some miscellaneous uh, stuff that needs to that we can do do that uh, uh, outline. I would say part of the parking lot with. Uh, They, they put a new plaque up on the new iron bridge. Uh, the, the supervisor for, for the highway department here uh, in our town, had, had, right after he had completed that job, uh, had a heart attack and died. Young man, uh, he was uh, six, seven years old, younger than me, so uh, <laughs> tragedy. Truly a tragedy. Uh, had a heart attack and, and uh, didn't, didn't survive it. But, uh, so the, the county uh, developed, uh, built, built a plaque and they put the plaque up yesterday, yesterday morning. I, I posted it on my Facebook page. Uh, his uh, Significant other, his wife, or girlfriend, basically. She wasn't his wife. She was his girlfriend. Uh, works at the hotel we worked at yesterday morning. Uh, they had some issues, so we were there for a couple hours, and I showed her the picture. She said they're going to have a dedication on uh, come uh, Tuesday uh, on the bridge. So I said, well, that's nice to know. They, they could have let everybody know. And then, you know, of course, after I posted the picture, because, you know, I was out of here at uh, 8.30 yesterday morning. I posted the picture. And uh, time we came back here, <laughs> uh, they had already covered it back up. Uh, they put a plastic bag over it and tape it. And I guess it's supposed to be a super, super secret surprise. But, you know, that's one of those... You should have done it to start with because everybody travels. But they thought nobody traveled down through here. But everybody travels down through here. It's it's quite popular back through here. People walk here every day, drive through here, the whole nine yards. Let's go down here and take a look at the uh, tail race. This is my compost. What's left of my compost pile? Uh, I'm gonna get this spread out through here. See if I can get this to to take a little bit better grass, green up a little bit better. Maybe maybe grow something <laughs> instead of nothing. You can see we're down. You start seeing that both of the rocks here and here. Uh, of course, the big rock over there. You know, the, last week it was underwater. So that shows you how much we're down. Uh, matter of fact, last week we were over that rock over there, and uh, with that area over there is humped up over there. That's where the stream comes, the drainage from over there comes down there, and that was underwater. So, what? Is, so the water level's down significantly, that um, better than it was. You can see the back of the building and some of the tuck point that needs to be done there. I'm gonna have to. When my boss is here, I'm going to wander him over here and show him the back of that building so he can actually see what it is for himself and, and what needs to be done. Because sometimes the, the, their own, getting their own eyes on the project or on, the, on it can change everything. They wanted, I, I had an estimate on it last year for uh, $8,000 to have it re redone. And they uh, thought it was too much money. So, or they didn't want to spend the money or whatever. I know they, they spent a lot of money on, on stuff for the dam. 
so I don't want to sound like they don't spend money here, but uh, sometimes what they what they spend and what they don't spend uh, can make all the difference in the world. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to be uh, cutting off here, uh, you, uh, letting you guys do your thing. I'll do my thing. Uh, something exciting is happening. I will try to get a video of it and let you know. Uh, if not, we're all doing fine, and we will talk to you later. Take care of yourselves and those around you, because that's all we have.